I want to take a brief. Wow. I want to take a brief moment to read this section from Jujutsu Kaisen. It was from the very first episode. It's when the grandpa is dying. So you're a strong kid, so help others. Even if it's only those closest to you, just save the people you can. It's okay if you lose your way. And don't worry about whether they'll thank you or not. Just save as many as you can, even if it's only one. When you die, you should be surrounded by people. Don't end up like me. I want to talk about one of the panels right there. One of the lines that I just read was, just save as many people as you can, even if it's only one. I know that from my past experiences, I've gotten very caught up in trying to save everybody and trying to get hundreds of thousands of millions of views and help out hundreds of millions of people because I do know that what I have to offer can help a lot of people. What I have also come to realize is when I go on hikes, when I go out into nature, when I go into like rivers or lakes or ponds or any area that I am wanting to be in, I notice that there are different areas or different aspects that I hadn't originally realized. Like there's so much life in a very small area in a very small community. I don't have to have these massive epiphanies that are coming through in some way, shape or form. All I can do is I can only help one person at a time. I can only make one video at a time. I can only have one conversation at a time. I can only speak to one person directly at a time. I can speak to hundreds of thousands of people all at once, or I can have group calls, or I can do one-on-one coaching, but that's still one person at a time. And it's why I like the first episode of Jujutsu Kaisen so much is because, yes, each story, he is a strong kid. He's able to throw a shock put, which weighs probably a couple... It's like 30, 40 pounds. And he throws it like a baseball. Like most people don't have that type of strength. He's also the only person that is able to hold Sukuna's energy without him overcoming him as a curse. And he's like, you know what? What are you doing with my body? It's like, wait, who is this? Like, you can't stop me. It's like, it's like, yeah, you're controlling my body. Like, this is mine. This isn't yours. There hasn't been somebody like that in a thousand years, as you heard Gojo say. I believe it was the second episode. I just like the aspect where Itadori, he was told by his grandpa to just go save one person. We want to have a lot of impact. At least I want to have a lot of impact. I want to change the way that people view the world. I want to change the way that you are perceiving yourself because once you break through all these limiting beliefs or you break through all these negative thought patterns or you break through what you once believed to be true, all of a sudden start things start to happen in miraculous ways. And I want to share that with you because it's something that has impacted me very heavily. And I've been able to relay these ideas or these concepts from different animes because there was this time back when I was in college, I was watching an anime. I don't remember the exact one at the time, but I just remember watching it. And I was telling my friends later, where I was like, yeah, I felt like I was actually that said character. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced something like that where you're watching a movie or a show and you become so attention and aware that you start to behave or believe that you are that said person in that said character in that said movie because that's what it is all about, right? Like we resonate with these people because they speak about the things that we ourselves already know to be true. So when we're told by our dying relative that like you are strong, go help these people. It's like, I never thought about that myself. And it's why I offer the coaching that you can schedule down below for a free 30 minute call because you are aware of your own actions. You aren't necessarily aware of somebody else's actions, but you are aware of yours. And I know that you're stronger than you may believe yourself to be because like even he's adoring the first episode, his coach was like, you need to become do sports. And he's like, I don't feel like I'm special. I don't feel like I can help anybody. But like he wanted to be with the oculent club instead because like that's where he felt like he could be of more service to the right individuals like I could go and do and serve other people but I feel like you guys and you listening right now are the people that I need to serve the most because I was in your shoes beforehand I was the person that was just watching anime not going out not talking to women not having conversations not being the true strong strengthy person that I was so I just want to help you at least excel your trajectory a little bit faster than I did so you don't have to go through the same suffering and or sorrows that I have because you are strong as well too. You just might have been told your whole life or somebody maybe picked on you at some point in time and you started to believe that you weren't that way. When in actuality, you are the way that you have always been and you are exactly perfect in the ways that you are. Regardless of anybody that tells you that, like you're always going to be growing, you're always going to be evolving, you're always going to be gaining new perspective, you're always going to be changing in some way, shape or form, which is a great thing to have happen. And it's something that I wanted to relate to you in this video right now. So like you have the strength, you have the conviction, you have the ability to help people. It doesn't have to be many people. It doesn't have to be hundreds of thousands of people. It just has to be the right people. And by doing so, you will change the lives and you're going to see things, you're going to experience things, at least 
this is what has happened for me on my journey of taking this path down of self-discovery and self-realization is I've grown in more ways than I ever could have imagined. And yes, there has been some painful parts, but there's also been some amazing, joyful, gratifying parts as well too. And I just want to help you understand that whatever you're going through, whatever is happening to you in your life, whatever losses that you have had happen, it's all been for your good. It's always been to help you out to achieve the things that you're wanting to achieve. It's not here to hinder you or to make you suffer, make you feel sad and alone. It's here to progress you down your path that you have chosen to come down here to experience, which is why you have to understand you are more powerful than you have ever known. You are the most powerful being. You are the most powerful character. You are the main character. Everybody is the main character. This is something that I want you to know is you are the main character. You are Itadori, if that's the person that you resonate with. You are Sukuna. If that's the person you want to resonate with, you are Gojo. If that's the person you want to resonate with, you are whoever you want to resonate with along with being yourself and anybody that comes in and tries to like deter you from your mission or whatever it is, like they can either be the villain or they can be the guide. And you're the one that gets to dictate or decide whether or not this person is here to help you, or this is some way that you have to overcome. Like I was watching this interview and it's a weird interview and I don't know why I was watching it, but it was something that I was watching. It was this girl that was online that was making like six figures a month from an OF page or something like that. And she had somebody call in to her on the radio show and the radio channel. And it got me thinking, I was like, This person was like basically cussing her out for doing the work that she was doing. And I was just like, it's kind of sad and miserable that people have to come in and try to belittle somebody else for them following the path of the passion that they themselves have chose to go down. But then that's where I thought, I was like, well, that just means that like, she's just trying to relay her. She's like her main character and she's trying to help this person or she's the villain to this person because like there is no good and there is no evil. There is all just neutrality. And that's why like understanding whatever strength your strength is, is the strength that you need to use to be able to progress in the ways that you want to progress. That is what I aim and I strive to help you out with because it's really just a choice at the end of the day. Like people are going to come at you with whatever it is that you end up doing and you can either twist it and use it towards your benefit or you can let it succumb and crumble you because like the girl that was getting attacked that I was just talking about a brief moment ago like she didn't do anything wrong she was just following her passion her excitement her overall joy and then people come in and are like no you aren't doing this right you need to do things differently and it's like but for her like that's what she loves just like has it to Dory he loves helping people he loves saving people he he's happy to be the person that like will eat all of Sukuna's fingers and end up dying later which who knows if that'll ever even happen like there might be some other loophole or some other thing that does end up happening my thing is like I just love getting to talk with people I love getting to hear your stories I love helping like out where I can even if you just need somebody just to like vent to or whatever it is like I'm happy to be that person for you because I understand that like having nobody in your life that necessarily gets the ideas or concepts or the topics that you want to talk about can be a very lonely journey. So like I am here to help you in the ways that you want to be helped in. If that is something that you do find a value and I know that I can be of service to you because I'm being of service to you right now while you're listening to this said video. If this resonated with you, awesome. I hope it did. And I know that you're stronger and you're more capable than you ever imagined possible. So just start, start building, start putting one Lego piece together, start watching one show, start doing one fight, start saving one person. Cause it's just all about one person, one interaction, one conversation, one video, one call and one changed life at a time, which then creates a ripple effect. As I was talking about in a couple of videos ago around the hike and the dude going up and taking a photo after he saw me take a photo. If you missed that, I highly recommend checking that out as well too. And with that being said, I'm going to do another video on the matrix just because I've been talking a lot about the matrix lately. I want to help you guys unplug in the ways that you want to unplug in. Nonetheless, you're stronger you have more capabilities and you can save people. Even if you won't ever get the recognition or the praise for doing so.